uh, hi everyone and welcome back in this video we are going to write our own set of methods like array dot prototype is giving us all these methods filter map find index reduce includes and all what we will do is we will add another our own methods like my filter okay similarly we will do array dot prototype dot my map okay this can be a simple simple questions where you have to write your own implementations like you are adding a new prototype methods on array and that can be used once it is added on the prototype you can use it simple as a map and filter okay so we'll start with uh, basic uh, map okay what a map actually does map is doing array manipulations and it is returning you that right so array dot prototype I will write one method and then we will keep uh, duplicating it because logic is kind of same my map and uh, this is the function and this function takes callback right and here we have this is a new array which map will always return right it doesn't change the existing array so for here we will we are running a loop onto this i is 0 i is less than this dot length this is talking about array i plus plus and here array dot push we will push into an array whatever we are getting from the callback function so here this is the array element so this is the array element array dot push whatever we are getting from the callback we will return it so i and here we will pass the context and once we are done we will return array right simple for the map what we are doing is we are actually calculating the value of each and every array after manipulation and we are doing push and we are returning a new array right so we can just use this simple function uh, with simple array numbers dot my map and this is the function right so my map is this is the callback function we are passing and this callback function is doing nothing but uh, math dot squared operation it is running and it is giving you the output which is 1 2 3 in an array okay now same thing if we try to do with the filter the only change which will happen with the filter is here we will check the condition if this is satisfying or not we will put this uh, whatever we are getting from the callback inside a function so if callback this i this if this is true uh, then only we will actually push into the element error dot push i okay because here we are checking true and false if that is true then only push into an array otherwise don't do this this is about filter right similarly we have our own we can talk about for each so for each does nothing it just use for iteration so if i write my for each so when we talk about for each for each does not return an array so it can be as simple as uh, we can just iterate on to this array and uh, we can run the callback function and we'll pass all the arguments that's it so this is a for each implementation now we have map for each and uh, map we have already done find filter methods are also there that we can also do map implementation was simple we were returning a new array and in the filter we were returning new array based on some condition okay now if we try to do the same thing for the find find will actually return the first match object from an array or match number or a string or any primitive so here let's say that result and here i'm just doing this dot length i plus plus here we are doing let is found we are actually doing a callback inside callback this is same argument the array index and the context okay here we will do if is found if it is found then result equal to this dot i i mean this of i and we will just do a break because we are 
waiting only for first match to happen if result is there result otherwise it will return undefined so this is the find customize method filter we have already seen in filter instead of uh, callback we will put this callback inside a condition similarly there is there is a reduce function we can write my reduce and this is the callback we are running a loop so we will just come get the initial value initial value equal to callback and uh, initial value we need to pass this is how callback works this is how the reduce function works and we are returning initial value we have to return only a single value using reduce it will keep passing this initial value to the callback I mean whatever the accumulator function is calculating and finally we will get the initial value from it ok so we have done filter similarly we can also write every and uh, some method so my every in this we are running a loop and here we will just check if this condition is true so little bit tricky here callback uh, dot call and we will pass the context here this of i index and this object based on this condition if this is coming out as a false we will return false if all good then return true so this is for every it means each and every should satisfy this condition so it should, it should return always true so it, become, it will become false and finally it will return true right similarly some uh, in the sum what we will do is we just need to check if any one of this is returning true if any one of it is returning true then we will return true from here otherwise return false sum and every is like a reverse of one another this is how we are going to return it and reduce function we have already talked about uh, so these are actually this is how you can rewrite the array prototype functions okay uh, thanks everyone